Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today. I am going to show you a very addictive stitch. This is Tunisian Interlock. I have not done any of these on camera for y'all because once I get into a mode of doing my Tunisian stuff, I get kind of addicted to it for a while. So you can see my beautiful blanket that I've been working on. It's huge. I'll take a nice big picture of this in a little while. This is classic interlock that goes at the diagonal, not the straight across one. This is the diagonal one. So I'm going to put this guy away, but isn't it gorgeous? I just love it. But here's a little swatch of what it looks like. You start with one color, you start, and then you add on. We're going to go diagonally. It's just like a C to C. So if you're already familiar with C to C or corner to corner, this will be pretty easy for you to pick up. I know the written instructions for interlock can be very confusing, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's so much easier to watch this one. I just have some remnants of another project that I'm working on. These are all Lion Brand Cupcake. I'm just going to show you how you get started. And this one goes diagonally, so it always gives you a square or a rectangle. You don't have any jagged edges that you have to fill in with triangles or anything like that. So this is the easiest way to start an interlock project is with this one because then it stays square. So let's just get started here. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! I love this little salmon -y color. This is just great. So I'm going to start here. It should show up very nicely on screen. And this is a cupcake, nice and thin. This is a three weight, but they want me to use a five. What you want to do with interlock is you want to jump up at least one whole hook size. So if I was supposed to use a five millimeter with this, I have a six out. This is very lightweight. I never use a five in the first place, but I am going to use a six millimeter hook right here. And this is my prim, one of my babies. So we're going to make a slip knot, put it on our hook. We're going to start right here and do this very first square, and it's chain 12. One, two, three. 10, 11, and 12. So we just have a chain of 12. Now, the very first chain that you can work in right here going to go in with our hook, pull up a loop and leave it on our hook. And do that again in the next chain. And you do that until you have seven loops on your hook. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is how you start the Tunisian interlock. Seven loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops. And now I have six on my hook. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through two again. All the way down. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. See? And now I have two loops left on my hook. Yarn over, pull through both of them, and now I have one loop on my hook. So there's our first row. Right there. You see these upright bars right here? It helps that I'm using this nice big hook, so these are very noticeable. You see these upright bars right in here? That's where we're going to be working. Not working in our traditional top of the stitches of the V-stitch. We're going to be working in these upright bars. So here's our first vertical bar. Go under the bar, yarn over and pull through, leave it on your hook. And then repeat. Then go under the next vertical bar, yarn over, pull through, leave it on your hook. Repeat. that and there's our last one don't lose this guy he's important too yarn over pull through let's see I have six loops on my hook but I need to have seven so we're gonna go to the next chain that has not been worked at all which is way over here you see this one's been worked we already used that one we grabbed that chain before 
So we want to go over to this chain right here and do the same thing. Go through our chain, yarn over, pull through, and leave it on our hook. Now we have our seven. We're going to repeat what we did the first time. So it's yarn over, pull through two, 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 two left on our hook, yarn over, pull through both. Now we have one loop left on our hook. Easy peasy. We do the same thing again. Under the vertical bar, pull through, leave it on the hook. Two, three, four, all five vertical bars, leaving us six loops on our hook. And now we have to go over to the next chain that hasn't been worked, has had no activity yet. There's our next chain. Go through the chain, pull through. Now we have seven loops on our hook. So we're going to repeat. Through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. All the way down. I have two loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through both, and now I'm back to my single loop on my hook so I can continue. We have three rows done now. One, two, three vertical bars. We want to go under these vertical bars one more time. Under the bar, yarn over, pull through, leave it on your hook. And there's number four, and there's our fifth vertical bar right there. And now we have to jump over, because I only have six on my hook. I need seven. So I'm going to jump over to the next chain that hasn't been worked and do the same thing again. So now I have seven. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. There's two loops left on my hook. Yarn over and pull through both of them. That was our fourth row. One, two, three, four. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. We're going to repeat. Repeat. Under the vertical bar, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And there's our fifth. And we have to go over to the next chain that is in a worked. We have not worked this chain yet. Yarn over, pull through. Now I have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Through two. All the way back down. And that was our fifth row. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we need to end this square. But you can see these filled in nicely. This one looks pretty hollow right here. You can see that it looks pretty hollow up top. So we need to finish off the top of our square. And the way we do that, this will happen for every square when you're done and you want to do this as loosely as you possibly can. If it helps, get a bigger hook because you have to work into these stitches again. <laughs> so we're going to go under our vertical bar, grab our yarn, pull through, and do a slip stitch. Nice and loosely. There's one. Do that again. Under the vertical bar, yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch under the vertical bar, yarn over, pull through, slip stitch. Under the bar, yarn over, pull through everything. And here's our last vertical bar. There are five. And pull through. But we need to make our last stitch in our last chain. So just as we were doing, we have to go through that very last chain yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch. And there, now we have a nice little square. There's our very first square that goes right here. Very cute. At this point, you fasten this off. We're done with that color for this row. 
Like I was saying, this goes as a C to C, so there's only one in the corner. So we can finish that one off. Now I will grab the next color. Let's go with the purple. Alright, for the second row, you want to pick a corner, hook through, fasten on your new yarn, and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So basically what we're doing is another square. We're going to attach part of it onto here. But this is our base row. So just like we did when we started the pink one, we're going to go through the first chain that you can work, yarn over, pull through, leave it on our hook. One, two, three, four, and five. So I used every chain. I have six loops on my hook. Now we want to go back into the same stitch that we fastened on our new color and do the exact same thing. Yarn over and pull through and now I have seven loops on my hook. We're going to repeat our Yarn over, pull through twos all the way down. And there's why I have one on my hook. So now we're working on this square right here. So we're going to repeat that process. Go underneath their vertical bar, pull through, leave it on the hook. Three, four, all five of our vertical bars, which gives us six loops on our hook, but we need seven. So seven comes in place right here. The stitch on our pink one that's right next to where we fastened on our new color. Yarn over, pull through, seven loops on my hook. Repeat, pull through, yarn over and pull through two all the way down. You see how the written instructions can be very confusing on this? It's really, really, really simple. It's just easier to watch it once than to try to read paragraphs about how to do this. So there's our second row of our purple. So we're going to repeat under the vertical bar, pull through. Under the vertical bar, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And there's our last vertical bar six loops on our hook. So to get our seventh hook, I bet you guessed it, we're going to the next stitch that hasn't been worked on our pink. That's right next to the where we just put the purple one. Yarn over, pull through. Now I have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way back down. See why this is so addictive? It's really simple once you get the hang of it. And there's our third row. Done already. Let's repeat that one more time. Underneath every vertical bar, the yarn over and pull through. Here's my last one. So I have six loops on my hook. To get our seventh, go through this next stitch right here. Now I have seven, yarn over, pull through two, all the way back down. And that was our fourth row. So we're going to repeat that one more time. Remember we want five rows in each square. So under the vertical bars and yarn over and pull through for all five of our vertical bars. Now I have six loops on my hook but I want seven so I'm going to this next stitch on my pink one, yarn over, pull through two. And there's our fifth row. See, they're both the same size now. One, two, three, four, and five. But remember, we have to finish this one off because it looks kind of hollow. It's not completely a finished stitch. You can see right in here. So, remember, as loosely as you can, yarn over and slip stitch under every vertical bar. Yarn over, 
slip stitch, yarn over, slip stitch, yarn over, slip stitch, and there's our last vertical bar, yarn over and slip stitch, but after that last vertical bar we have to do one more. So we're going to go to this stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch. Now they are completely connected. And then we move on to this square right here by doing the exact same thing. So we want to have seven loops on our hook again. So here's our first one, of course. There's one, two, three, four, five, and this one gets kind of tight. Six, and there's our last stitch for seven loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now on this end you have to do it a little bit differently because you don't have anything to grab over here because we're all done. We don't have any other squares to start grabbing that extra stitch. So here what we need to do is make this edge and give ourselves an extra stitch. What we're basically doing is a chain up. So you yarn over and pull through the very first loop only. Now we've just chained up a little bit so we're ready for our next row. Still have seven on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way down. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Pull through two. And we still have one, two, three, four, five vertical bars and then our edge that we just made. So we're going to repeat our same process. Under the vertical bar, yarn over, pull through, two loops on our hook. Go under every vertical bar. There's our fifth bar. So now I have six loops on my hook. So in order to get our seventh, I'm going to turn and see that stitch that we just made, you can see that it's purple right in here. We want to go under both loops of that little stitch that we just made. And you can see that right, oops, and I got the pink in the way. And you can see right here, we want to go underneath both of these loops. For our last stitch, yarn over and pull through that very first stitch still have seven loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way down. There you go, there's our second row. We'll do that one more time. Under all five vertical bars, it gives us six loops on our hook, but we need seven. So we're going to go over to the stitch that we just made when we chained up. Go underneath both parts of our stitch right there. Yarn over and pull through just that stitch, which is basically a chain up. Still have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. All the way down. And that was our third row. Right, so we're going to go through, we're making row four because we need five. Whoopsie, like this, and like this. And there's our last vertical bar. I have six on my hook. I want to go over to this stitch on the side that looks very much like a single crochet. Go under both parts of that little V and pull through. Now we have seven loops on our hook. Repeat all the way across. And that was our fourth row, so one more time. Underneath all five vertical bars gives us six loops on our hook. And then we need this last stitch right here. 
and pull through just that stitch. There's our seven. One, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now there's our fifth and final row for this square. So we have to finish this off because it looks hollow. So under the vertical bar, loosely with a slip stitch. Do that for all five of our vertical bars, loosely with a slip stitch. And again, if you need to keep that loose, you can always jump up to a bigger hook just for this part until you get good at leaving all that extra slack. Now for our very last one, we have to move over here back to our stitch along the side, just like we did before for everything else when our ending our ending square. Go underneath both, yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch. Yay! And now you can finish off the purple. Alright, so there's the first one in the second row. One and two. Now we're going to do three. Let's do one more time so you can see what one looks like totally in the middle. Then you have every option that there is. There's one all by itself. There's our two outside ones where I started with the chain here and I had to create my final edge over here. We'll have the chain, we'll have the finish, and then we'll have one in the middle. And then you'll know how to do every stitch. You'll know how to do every one. So you go, go down to this corner right here. And fasten on our new color. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we want to go into every chain and pull up a loop like we did with the purple. One, two, three, four, five. That gives us six loops on our hook, but we need seven. So we go back into the same stitch that we fastened our blue onto, the same purple stitch right there. Yarn over, pull through, now I have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two all the way down until you only have one loop left on the hook. You know, you can see why this is so addictive. Once you get it done, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. It's like a C to C. It's really big, really big squared, really big C to C. So we're going to do the same thing underneath our vertical bar. Yarn over, pull up, leave it on our hook for all five of our vertical bars. And then we need our seventh loop. So I have six on my hook after I do all my bar vertical bars. So we have to go right here to this next purple stitch that has not been worked. Yarn over, pull up, seven loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way down. This is exactly like what we just did with the first purple square. So we're going to start again. That was row two. Yarn over, pull up a loop underneath all five of our vertical bars which gives us our six loops, but we want seven, so we have to work into this stitch too. There's our seventh. Yarn over, pull through two. And there's row three. Let's do it again. Underneath every vertical bar, all five of them. There's six loops on my hook. I need seven, so we're going into this stitch and pull through, yarn over, pull through two all the way down. See, once you get the hang of this, it goes so fast. It is so fast. There's our fourth row. One more time. Underneath all five vertical bars. And we need seven loops on our hook. So we're going to go over to the next stitch. We haven't worked on the purple. Yarn over and pull through two all the way across. And now our one, two, three, four. There's row five, but it's not complete. We have to do our slip stitches across the top to finish our square. 
so go under the vertical bar yarn over and slip stitch remember loosely because if you don't do it loosely you will be very sad it gets very tricky to work into these stitches again if you made them too tight so there's our fifth vertical bar but after that fifth vertical bar we always need to do one more thing so here we're going to do go over to the next purple stitch yarn over pull through and slip stitch so there we go one two three so we're working diagonally just like a c to c or a corner to corner so here's how you do the middle one I'm going to go and do the same idea here in every stitch it's the same idea yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop now see I get that one a little bit too tight this is why you want to make there you go that's why you want to do slip stitches nice and loose there's a stitch now we have one two three four five six loops on our hook we need seven so we're going to move on to this next purple stitch and yarn over pull through there's our seven loops yarn over pull through two all the way down There's the start of our next square. So repeat underneath every vertical bar which gives us six loops on our hook but we need seven. So we go into the next purple stitch that hasn't been worked. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, through two, through two, through two, through two, through two and through our last two. There's row two, how quickly that worked. I say addictive. And once you get the hang of it, this just goes so fast. Underneath every vertical bar, there's six loops on our hook. Move over to the purple. Yarn over, pull through. Now I have seven. There's row three. As fast as that. We're going to go under L. Five of our vertical bars again. gives us six loops on our hook but we need seven into the next purple stitch with the yarn over and pull through now I have seven yarn over through two 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 and two that's row four one more time because each one of these squares has five there's five vertical bars six loops on my hook I need one more so we'll go right here the next purple yarn over pull through two all the way across one two three four and five but this is not finished yet we have to do our slip stitches across the top to finish off a nice edge on our square so under the vertical bar slip stitch under the vertical bar slip stitch And there's our fourth vertical bar there's our fifth one there's one more thing that you always need to do after this fifth one so in this case we're going to go into our next purple stitch yarn over pull through and slip stitch so that's basically what you do in the middle here so in the middle you're just building a little square in between these two purple ones like in this empty spot that was an empty spot. Now we have a new square. So let's finish off this one more time because we have to make that little edge just like we did before. Underneath every stitch, pull up. So I have six loops on my hook. Underneath this back here, to get those nice and connected. The stitch right here, pull through and pull through once. Now we've chained up. Pull through, pull through, pull through, pull through, 
and pull through. There's our first row of blue. And we're going to repeat all the way down again. This is exactly what you did with the purple one. There's our last vertical bar, six on our hook, go underneath the blue one that we just made. Pull through just that first one for a chain up. And there's row three. At this point, you probably totally have it. Row three, we're going to do row four and five really quickly here. As you should have it by now. We've made so many squares. It's our fifth vertical bar. We'll go underneath. Both of those loops underneath and chain one and then do our yarn over pull through two pass. That was row four, now we're working on row five. Every vertical bar all the way to the edge. Pull through, chain one, pull through, pull through, pull through, pull through, pull through, and pull through. Oh no, I'm almost out of yarn. I think I can make it though. This is my last pass. And here we just need to do under the vertical bar and a slip stitch. See if I can make it. Oh no. I didn't know it was disconnected. There's my last vertical bar. Oh, I'll be able to make it. And then underneath both pieces of this stitch, both bars of that stitch, underneath, pull through. I just made it. And our slip stitch. And there you go. Now you know how to do every single square that there will be. Now you know how to do all the different squares. You just keep going and going and going. It's just like a C to C. When you're all done and it's as wide as you want it to be, you just don't do the extension of the six chains. You just start right here with this one that goes right in the middle. Super, super duper simple. I promise you'll be able to figure it out very quickly. I know it seems a little daunting, especially if you haven't done any Tunisian before. It is almost like knitting. It's very different because we have such small groups of stitches we don't even need a Tunisian hook. So you can give it a try with normal hooks without having to buy anything special. This one I did with normal hook and with Red Heart Super Saver and a couple of days worth of time to make this big old blanket. That's how addictive it is. It's so much fun. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back real soon. Thanks. Bye.